Hello, Internet, and welcome to episode 21 of Al and Alex. Black and Tan Beer Palooza. Super exciting day. Found a ridiculously high alcohol <laughs> content beer. So, But it has a breakfast name, so it's deceiving because it sounds like you should be drinking it Get for breakfast. wasted at breakfast. <laughs> so, for our tan, we didn't want to take away too much from this the black beer because it seems so interesting and, and delicious. So we went with the classic, classic heart blogger from, you know, Ireland, <laughs> St. James Gate, Dublin. So nothing too exciting there, although it is delicious. Yeah, I just yeah. had one <laughs> or two. Um, and so for our black uh, Terrapin Brewing Company, they're kind of all over now, um, is a vanilla chai tea wake and bake. Oatmeal, coffee, oatmeal, imperial stout. And I think it says on here 9.4%. So, yeah, have it with breakfast. It's pretty cool. There's can. just so many flavors going. Oh, yeah. We and haven't tried it yet. On that name alone. It's a cool can. It it's is super fun. Cool can. There's just something on the side. That's a lot of words. I'm not going to read it. Okay. 2020 Reserve. I don't know if they, let's see, I don't know if they keep making it. Anyways, screwed with jittery Jones. I have two fun facts. Terrapin, <laughs> a terrapin, is a turtle, a, but a terrapin is the is uh, the word terrapin is the Algonquin Native American uh, word for a little turtle, which is what they are. <laughs> so, I mean, that was fun. <laughs> Just like turtles. And then, and then, not the only, not only. Good beer coming out of Athens, Georgia. But we all know R.E.M. and the B-52s out of Athens, Georgia. Which is cool. So, if it's not a thing yet, I didn't look it up. But Terrapin Brewing Company needs to make a Rock Lobster beer and a Man on the Moon beer. I don't care what they taste like. I'm going to buy it. All right. Rock Lobster. Doo-doo. So, while Top you're, 10 songs of all time. Rock pouring, Lobster. Hands while you're down. pouring... My fun facts today (laughs) are, I really want to try that. My fun facts are on chai tea, because we've already talked about vanilla and oatmeal. And And what an imperial stout is. Yeah, so chai tea (laughs) For those of you who don't remember, imperial just means you're going to get drunk. Yeah, it's a higher alcohol percentage. So the chai tea in Hindi means tea... Or chai means tea. So essentially you're saying it's tea tea. So if we were to go to tea, India, tea, tea. chai is just tea. I like tea, tea and, Like it's just tea and it's everywhere. It's all over the streets. There's carts. Um, like there's people selling it. Where here we call chai tea is more of like an actual flavor tea. And what it is, it's typically made with black tea. Occasionally people will make it with green tea. But it's known as a black tea with spices added to it. Now, you can buy tea bags where the spices are already added. One, one of the recipes and a couple of the websites I found actually said to put the tea or the spices, put such the as um, cardamom, ginger, cinnamon, peppercorn, coriander, and stub, oh, excuse me, some use star anise, or fennel, and they put it into a bag, and they hit it with a skillet, and then they boil the water. You boil the seasonings. The last five minutes, you add the tea bags, and then you strain it out. <laughs> it's also made with half water, half milk, and it has a lot of sugar, so it's very sweet. Yeah. Um, another little side note. This is brewed with Jittery Joe's I coffee. I said right that. there. Oh, you did? I did. I ignored you. Man. I'm sorry. Story of a wife's um, life. <laughs> not, maybe not everybody's wife. I actually <laughs> gave you a little more than me. But that's Ooh. okay. All right, well, let's try this. Yeah, so 9.6% alcohol. The vanilla chai, wake and bake. <laughs> Ooh, Coffee, oatmeal, that's imperial delicious. stout. It has a lot of flavor going on. Ooh. Ooh, Yeah. It's chai tea vanilla. I have it with the with the. It's like a chai latte, except of, better because it's beer. And a hint of coffee. A hint of coffee. Yeah. I like no. 
This is really good. This is delicious, yeah. I don't think I could drink too It was like $20 now. for that four-pack, though. Well, congratulations. She finally spent some money on I you. know. I'm not cheap anymore. It did not separate Also, there all. was no price on it, so I didn't know it was $20 for a four-pack until I was paying for it. And then she and rung it up. I was like, <laughs> do I put it back? You can't once you get to the cash register. You can't put it back at that point. You just, you're you just here. committing. Yeah. So it Sorry. didn't separate at all. So they clearly... The oh, I didn't trans- try. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, even if you tried, didn't they didn't. It probably wouldn't have separated. It's very dark. So I bet on its own, it's it it's delicious. It probably tastes like an oatmeal of, imperial stout by Yeah, it's itself. got a lot of flavors. Yeah. You do, the harp does not take away any of the flavors. Mm-mm. Mm. Yeah, you get... The, but, you get the chai tea with a hint of vanilla on that one. So. Well, yeah. Go it's out. Try. try it. Like I said, 9.6%. <laughs> we're going to get a little buzz on. You know what that means. It means we're both going to fall asleep on the couch and then wake up grumpy and go right to bed. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Thanks, or baby. maybe it does. It doesn't. It doesn't. Anyways. It uh, means have a good weekend, Ernest. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Try this. Let us know what you think. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. Well, we're going for 40. Yeah, Woo! going for 40 subscribers. <laughs> All right. Have a good weekend. Uh, live long and prosper.